Hello, my name is Michael Watson. I'm a composer and music producer and I'm teaching you through the Ableton Live manual one step at a time. And today I'm going to be teaching you all about MIDI overdub recording. So I've got two MIDI clips here, one that's named keys and one that's named drums. And the name is pretty descriptive. The one is kind of like a MIDI synth keys and the other one is a, a drum rack. And I want to demonstrate MIDI overdub recording to you with these two tracks because you can find really neat applications in both building up your drum loops with MIDI overdub recording as well as building up melodies and harmonies. So what MIDI overdub recording is, is essentially you have a MIDI clip and you start recording something and the transport bar will keep going across the same MIDI clip recording new MIDI data as you enter it. In this way it'll keep layering all the MIDI notes you play so that you can end up with a really cool complex clip at the end of it without having to have to play everything at the same time. So I'm first going to show you how to do this on keys. So I've activated the metronome at the top left over here. If you don't want to work with metronome, that's totally optional. But before you actually can record anything, you need to arm your tracks. So I've hit this little arm session recording button over here, and this is telling Ableton Live that you intend to store the MIDI data that you're about to send through this track. If you don't arm a track and you hit record, nothing's going to record, so you absolutely have to arm this track. The same goes for audio tracks, not just MIDI. And since we are in session view, we need to use this session record button. So note, that if you use this arrangement record button over here, it's going to look like you... Oh my goodness, I forgot about my metronome. I'll explain <laughs> that to you just now. But if you hit this record button, you know, it looks like things are recording. You can see that I'm playing on my MIDI keyboard, but nothing is actually recording, and that's because you're recording here in arrangement view. So that's not what we want to do. And, um, you know, that might happen to you, that you've hit record and you're like, why isn't it working? It's armed. Okay, so in session view, we need to use the session record button. Okay, so we've got our track armed. We know which button to press. I have a MIDI clip, and I also have uh, a keyboard attached to this track, and uh, we can begin recording. Please um, bear with my crazy metronome. I will tell you all about that a little later. Excuse a few wrong words, yeah? It was really simple for me to record the sequence now. However, you may notice that the notes aren't quantized, and um, you can just Command A, select all of them, and hit then Command U to quantize them. But what would have been even better to do is to have your record quantization set on. And that means that whatever I play will quantize automatically as I play in real time. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you, and that becomes particularly useful if you're building up uh, drum loops. So go to Edit at the top on your menu bar, and go to the bottom here, Record Quantization. Mine was set to no quantization, but you can choose what kind of quantization you want. Quarter note, eighth notes, triplets, and so forth. So I'm going to go for 16th note quantization, and I'm going to do this whole exercise again. So my metronome's on, my track is armed, and I'm ready to go. I'm going to hit this Record button. And this time when I played it, it was perfectly in time, because it quantized to the 16th notes as I played it. Alright, so let me demonstrate that with drums. The same sequence, so you go to the track you want to record on, make sure you've got the right instrument. Arm this track over here. And this time I've actually got record quantization on, so from the start it should be a lot neater. So I hit a snare, I didn't want it, and I could just hit Command Z and it just undid it and still kept recording. And then now when I demonstrate it to you here, I'm also going to show you how to practice your beats before you actually record them during MIDI overdub. This is really cool if you're in a live performance setting and you just want to improvise a beat without recording it, or if you're actually at home and you're jamming a bit and you first want to figure out where the notes are that you want to hit before you record it. So I'm going to keep it rolling, but I'm not sure what I want next. So I can toggle between recording and just playing over the MIDI, so like MIDI overdub playing without recording, by hitting this record button on and off. Now I'm going to record. So 
to me the jumps still feel a bit lacking but what i'm gonna do is just keep playing through it and keep adding things and if you've added too many notes like the snare drum i don't really like you can always edit it later and what's even cooler is that you can take this clip i'm clicking and dragging it down whilst holding alt and i've duplicated it hold on let me make sure you can see it properly all right so these are my two clips and uh I can actually just simplify it. I can just cut out a whole bunch of things. And that way I can just toggle between the two drums. That way you can actually just jam using whichever drum clip you want to use. You can build it up slowly. And that's MIDI overdub recording for you. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. I'd be happy to help you. Also keep your eye out for my video on MIDI step recording, which is a little bit different to MIDI overdub recording, but it's also a really cool recording technique. And uh, if you want to know what the hell is up with my metronome, <laughs> then uh, you can click on the video that you should see now. It's how to change your custom metronome, which I thought was pretty cool because the default metronome was a little bit too piercing for my taste. Although then again, this one is also a little bit too experimental for your taste probably. So <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.